man called John Newton was a man who used to do trading with slaves. And you understand? That's right. And he would take African people and carry them to England and send them for money as slaves. But when something happened, something happened one day. Come on. One day on his journey, the ship that he was in, it crashed. And every man that we stayed from. But for some reason, God saved that man. Right, right, right. For some reason, God saved John Luther. I don't know why he saved him, but he saved him. Amen. And we did him. He, he came out and he said, Amazing grateful that said, I read, no matter how deep you are in sin, the amazing grace is for you. He said it's really amazing how we can save our rich.
même pour l'autre dans le monde. And pieces are born. And I'm telling you, it went deep inside this man. Something had to reach you to save you. Only dead men around him, floating on the ocean. It's really amazing to see the God we serve. When God ready for you, He will bring you from your wicked ways and give you life to lead the rest to Him. He writes songs I can never go. Where He leads me, I will go. And I will go there with all that more. Tell it to you, Tim. You will see a wonderful man roughing you from your wife, roughing you from your husband, roughing you from your children, and will carry you to another bed. You say COVID bad? Take your little boy time. Take your little girl children from you and take them to another land. You don't know if you are one of those tribes. You could have been one, your great grandfather could have been one that was stolen from Africa to come here. So today when we sing amazing praise, we understand how way down in hell we was. An amazing grace says, no matter how deep you are, I can still come and take you on. See it again, child. See it again,
Let them see what they want outside here. We go for all this. I said, let them see what they want from the outside. But they know who is on the inside. Are you there, sir? They will say things on the outside, but it's the inside. Jesus said, let them see what they want from the outside. But you are my people. You are called by my name. You've got to change your ways from the outside people. Humble yourself. Seek with faith and prayer. I can't hear them, but we hear you. I hear you. He said, the sinner, he will not hear. He will take his eyes away from them. But the righteous, he will listen. Oh God. Church, are you there? Let the people talk. But you walk right. You can't be loved by all. You cannot be loved by all. If, if they hate you, for his name's sake, then you are his. He said you're going to be blessed when they hate you, for my name's sake. If you're looking for everybody to love you, then take it from me. You are not in the word of God. He said they're going to ask me. They're going to say one thing, they're going to say all kinds of things. But when they start to speak, make sure that you're in a place called righteous. So as long as they are in a place called righteous, I'm going to take care of you. And I'm going to make you laugh. I'm going to give you joy.
They plant it there to cast you away from God. You know what it is according? I call more like this. Bind us together, Lord. But I know us together. So I call is a people. It's a man of people. That bind with God. Bind them with what? With God. But if I could get to mash them up and throw the cords away, they will be scattered. Are you understand? What we have to do? What may God please? God says, when I see the brethren dwell together. In the unity, it has been a precious ointment. Oh God, I'm praying from the hill of heaven, down to his bed, and even to the stone of it. Right now, unity is what God wants in the church's faith. You don't have unity, no Jesus. Saint Malachi for Saint Han. A whole divided cannot stand. It cannot stand. Who said? Jesus. Jesus said it must come. Yeah, yeah. They come to fight and mash up the cause. Yeah. Uh, you know you come for the first time. You see me show you what I'm saying. We're not talking about you. So set your second one. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. I don't want anybody to come for the first second or third time. We're not talking about you. We're not talking about you. No. But if you have to come with that again, then we're talking about you. Yeah. And those of you that were here very long before that, if you have that plan, today we will mash you up. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come he that sitteth in the heavens. What is that? He that sitteth in the heavens. Which man is in the heaven? Thank God, amazing man. You can't find him down here. He's up there looking at us from here. We shall laugh. Shall we what? Shall laugh. Because we are faithful. We are his anointing. We are the children of God. Next 
and it's really happening. It's really happening. How many intercessors we have here? They are still in the ceiling in the room. They're gone. They're gone. What have we do? Would you not fix God? I mean, here you How many choir members we have? There's still in church, but they're not in the choir. Would you not fix Come on, talk to me in the church. Yes, sir. Oh God, how many prayer groups we have? And they stop praying. Would you not And when God gets this, He will take care of you. Oh God, just talk to me, the man. Come on. Come on. They're trying to mash up with mine. Some of them, that's all I know. Let me 
Are you ready to go there? I'm gonna say it. You go! Anybody that's man? His disciples was with him. He went higher into a mountain and he sat himself and the disciples came on him and asked him question. When, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of the coming of the I didn't say no. But I say what 
Jesus name. Jesus name is because you missed last night. You didn't pray last night. You prayed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You did not pray on Saturday. And you, I hear you. He said you have to pray every day. For every day with Jesus. So, he said you have to pray with Jesus. And I'm just telling you this. It's because you live on one day. If you need to stop. He said if you cease to pray. The devil's man come into my shop your band. So you come home with a family by you. Try there. So you pray Thursday. And you learn Friday. And the Sabbath day was worse. It's because you see sin to pray. First Thessalonians 5, 17 says, one thing God required of us is that we pray without ceasing. Hey, you know what happened? Walking on one, jumping on one foot, and looking at it right up there. It's because of the world. And we walk, and we run, and not only that, if you think I'm going to come, come here with me, let me go. How do you look at it? Because I stay in the world. Oh, 